Well, friends, the storm has come. It's nothing compared to what Florida has experienced, but it's our own little storm that we got right here in eastern Kentucky. The wind is going, the rain is falling, and it feels pretty nice out here. I mean, we've seen worse, a lot worse. I love the rain, though. I love storms. The pups are taking shelter here underneath the, the porch and enjoying it as well. Ooh, it's windy. So as far as rainy days with all the animals, um, they pretty much stay inside. They come out. The chickens will come out. I opened up the back for Henry, Sniffles, and Fiona to come out if they want to. They'll most likely stay inside. One that really loves this weather is Miss Quackerduck. This is her jam right here. She loves the weather, huh, Mama? Quacky ducky. She's finding all the bugs. She's a happy girl. We'll head down to the barn real quick. I do have to go to town. I have a few things I need to get into town. But let me go down to the barn and check on all the animals real quick before I leave. Make sure everybody's good in there. I keep all the barn doors closed except for that those two. Those are for the chickens to come in and out. With the heavy winds, those will fly open. So I've got cinder blocks keeping them open. Ooh, it's windy. And really muddy. Be careful I don't slip. Everybody is inside. And so are Fiona and Sniffles. And it looks like Henry's over here too. Hey Henry. Yeah, they all stay inside the barn when it is raining like this. They don't wanna go out. It's too wet, too muddy. Hagrid's outside, but he's a pig. He doesn't care. He loves to be muddy and it's not cold out there, so he's fine. All right, everybody's good in here. I'll give them some more feed since they're not gonna be out foraging today. And then I gotta head into town for a little bit. All right, friends, so I decided not to go into town today and stay home because it started getting really crazy. The wind is really, really bad and there has been numerous times that I have been driving through our mountain and come across a down tree. So I don't wanna be out in this weather. It's not mandatory what I get today, so I'll just wait until the storm has passed and it is safe to drive these mountains. It's getting, it's getting intense, but still we are all right. I'm currently looking out my window here and that's my backyard garden and all of my peppers are on the floor, so after this is over, looks like I'm gonna be out there picking the remainder of my peppers and doing something with them because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be all pulled out by the root by now. All right, friends, so we have a little bit of a break in the crazy weather. It has stopped raining, the wind has stopped. So let's do a quick check and see how everything is over here on the homestead. Check on the animals in the barn, see how everybody's doing, and then head back inside. All right, we're gonna head down to the barn first and check on all the animals over there. And then we're gonna head down to the orchard and check out my trees. Cause these winds picked up pretty, they were pretty fast. So I need to make sure my trees are good down there. All the chickens are out, so they're happy. Let's head over to the barn real fast. All right, they are all good. Chickens look good. Let's head off to this side of the barn and check on Hagrid, our pig, and see how he's doing. Hey, 
Blackguard. How are we doing, sir? All right, everybody looks good over here. Now let's head down to the orchard real quick and do a quick check over there. Make sure my trees are still in the ground. I've seen one down tree behind the house. Um, there's a small tree that came up out of the ground right there, but I don't see anything else. And I didn't see anything on the street of any down trees. So hopefully we will be good. But let's head down to the orchard right now. to stop real quick and check on my bees please excuse all of the weeds that are up around it but I have been giving them their space and I don't want to go up there with the weed eater because they get really agitated with the weed eater so I haven't weed eaten around them but I can see that they're all out so they look like they're doing good There's the down tree right there that fell, but I don't see anything else that came down. All right, we'll head inside the backyard garden real quick and see all my peppers on the floor. My flowers are on the floor too. They're so pretty though. Well, after those winds, I kind of expected this. So next couple days I will come in here and I will go ahead and pull all of my pepper plants and go ahead and get them preserved, whether that be freezing, canning, turning into sauce. I'll figure it out. I'll do something with these peppers because there's quite a few of them in there. This is not the end of the storm. I think this is just kind of the calm. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to get really crazy tonight. So I'm going to head inside. I'll show you what I have been working on inside. And then I will bring you back for some more of the storm later on tonight and see what's going on. I made some banana nut bread. and chicken pot pie, and these are homemade biscuits. So I'm excited to see how this tastes. Rainy days equals baking in the kitchen for me. I love to bake in the kitchen on rainy days, so that's what I've been doing while it's been raining. All right, so I'll bring you guys back a little bit later on tonight and let you know what's going on with the storm here. Well, friends, it's five o'clock and it's still beautiful. Hubby just left for work and I'm gonna go ahead and feed all the animals right now because it is time. I feed them in the morning and then at five when hubby leaves for work and then I close up about seven o'clock. So let me go change my shoes cause I'm not wearing my water boots and we'll head over there and go feed the chickens, our cow Henry and our two sheep. All right, I've got my boots on because it's still very muddy over there. I don't want to be walking around in my nice shoes and get them all muddy. But it doesn't look like it's going to rain again. I do not see any rain clouds anywhere. But the wind is still here. So we'll deal with that. But it's not that bad. It's actually really beautiful right now. Warmer than I thought it would be after just having rain though. But all the animals are out. The chickens will be happy that I'm feeding them pretty soon. 
Henry's calling for me. Since I don't see any rain, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the back so that they can go out and graze for a couple hours. And then when it gets dark, then I'll bring them back in and lock up. But I don't see any rain, so they should be fine. All right, Fiona got her food. Sniffles has got his feed. And Henry's got his. Now to feed the chickens. All right, friends, it is almost seven o'clock. It's time to feed the pups, put them into bed. I leave the two boys out, coach and sport, but they go inside and eat with everybody and then I let them out after everybody's done. But they get a big bowl full of kibble, 36 eggs, and then some ground pork. And I also did chicken broth the other day, so I went ahead and crushed all of the bones from the chicken broth, or the bone broth, and put it in here as well. So they'll have that as well. But this will be their dinner. And then I will go lock up Henry and Sniffles and Fiona. And the chickens, they will be the last ones to go in because you can't shoe in a bunch of chickens. They take their time and they go in right at dark. So I won't worry too much about them. I'll just come out last minute and lock up their cage. But let me go ahead and feed these pups because they are all hungry. <laughs> They are all eating. I have Miss Oreo here. She is pregnant, so we are going to feed her in number five. I've got her own little spot over there. I've been putting her there at night just in case and so that she gets used to being in there because that's where she's going to have puppies and they are going to stay in there with her. So I have her food right here and I'm gonna go take her in there and feed her. So this is our chicken brooder. This is where I normally have our chickens when uh, the baby chicks, when we get them and they come in here, but I got it all cleaned out and this is now going to be her area to have her pups. Look at that belly. Yes, mom. All right, dogs are fed. Now I need to go collect some eggs and lock up the back of the barn. And then the front of the barn, I will go ahead and lock that up later when it gets dark. Cause these chickens aren't gonna be going in anytime soon. So let's go collect some eggs. All right, so I went ahead and collected all of our eggs. Look at how pretty and blue this egg is. It's so pretty. So many different colors, but I do love the blue and green eggs. Henry, Fiona, and Sniffles did not want to come in. They are still way out there in pasture. They are still eating. They've been stuck inside all day, so they only been out for the last couple hours. We'll walk over there real quick and say hi to them, see how they are doing, and look at how much they have eaten down that side of the garden. It's insane. That was so covered in weeds you couldn't see into it, and they have completely eaten all of it. It's insane. So let's go check on them. Haggard, you got yourself a pool there. All that rain, look at that. a big boy. <laughs> Got some big zucchinis in here. I'm going to go ahead and give to Hagrid. 
you will appreciate these. Hey. Hey. They're eating my strings. walk over there and see if I see any more that I can pull out and go ahead and give to Hagrid. Oof. Hey, don't knock me over. Don't knock me over, sir. All right, it's time to put this little girl to bed. Come on, Quacker Duck. Let's go to bed. She goes into number five with Oreo, but she's got her own cage. So this way, hey, hey. this way Oreo doesn't bother her and she doesn't bother Oreo. Good girl. Good girl, mama. All right, so since Henry was still out and so were Fiona and Sniffles, I'll have to go out and close that up once it gets a little bit darker since they were still in, or since they were still out eating. But it does get darker sooner. So about 7.30, it should start getting dark. I'll be back out in about 10, 15 minutes or so. All right, it is dark enough now. The chickens should all be inside. So we're gonna go ahead and lock everything up for the night. And it stayed really, really nice out here. It's perfectly clear. There is no clouds in the sky. So I think the storm is gone. That will be it for it. Come on, Henry. Come on, sir. All right, friends, barn's all locked up. It's definitely dark, time to head inside. All right, friends, thanks for hanging out with me today during this tropical storm that we had come through here. And this is just what life is like here on the homestead when it's raining. Hope you enjoyed this video, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all's well and have a blessed day.